It's too late for you. You're already dead. The hell are you talking about? <laughs> Hey yo guys, how are you doing? Since the dawn of time, mankind has struggled to find the answers to the most important life questions. Why are we here? Is there an afterlife? And why is Roblox still popular? Ooh. And most importantly, which are the top 10 must play underrated PS4 hidden gems? While I can't give you an answer to the first three questions, I'm here today to answer the most important one of them all and talk about the top 10 most underrated PlayStation 4 hidden gems. So grab yourself some pizza, kick back and make yourself comfortable and let's get the kick out of gaming. Let's kick off this list with some recommendations from you guys, starting with Tumo Fiji and Gravity Rush Remastered, a superhero origin story that's part goofy characters, part manipulating gravity to drop innocent bystanders to their doom and part fly kicking some goons into their glowing parts. And it all comes together with a very unique story and atmosphere that I highly recommend as well. Lester Bronson recommended Absu, a game about a diver exploring the ocean for around 2 hours. At first I was hesitant to grab this game, no action and just exploring? That's a hard pass for me. But I'm glad I gave it a chance, because this one is well worth your time. From the soundtrack to the environment, this game is a super chill experience. Unlike the first game on my list, Bulletstorm, full clip edition. The story of Bulletstorm kicks off with a blast and we get introduced to our main protagonist who has the self-preservation instincts of a kamikaze pilot. But thanks to next gen technology, we can change the main protagonist to Duke freaking Nuke. It's time to kick ass and chew bubble gum. And I'm all out of gum. The man, the legend that gave video game protagonists a bad rap and the switched voice lines he delivers are so out of place that it makes for a hilariously fun playthrough. Thank god Bulletstorm has the gameplay to carry this B-movie story on its shoulders. Bulletstorm rewards you for being stylish with your kills, kicking goons into oversized cactuses Points for that, kicking foes into conveniently placed electrical wires. Points for that, kicking your girlfriend's lookalike into an explosive barrel. Points for that, you better believe it. In Bulletstorm, taking full advantage of environmental hazards scores us tons of extra points and helps us level up our weapons. So we definitely get the kick out of gaming. And when we are done kicking Mad Max movie extras, we can start running them over with the suitable cars in Carmageddon. Good old Carmageddon, the perfect premature racer which encourages stupidity and violence for no reason. In a racing game culture that largely caters towards realism, Carmageddon is a bloody breath of fresh air. Power-ups that give us stupid handicaps combined with twisted metal car crashes are making Carmageddon the perfect mindless fun mix. This isn't a racing game in the traditional sense. You don't have to finish first to win the race, you can smash all other cars Mad Max style until you're the last one standing, so technically battle royale with cars. The only thing that shatters my suspension of disbelief is that the post-apocalyptic roads are in better shape than the ones around my house. But if you can get this game for a budget price, I highly recommend it for a quick pick up and play to let off some steam. And talking about letting off some steam, the weather forecast for the next game is cloudy, with a high chance of explosions in Just Cause 4. Rico Rodriguez is back for the fourth game in the Just Cause series. And this guy is still in the business of liberating small third world countries the American way. 
by continuously blowing stuff up and reenacting an average level of bro force. God bless America. And if there is one thing that Rico can't stand, then it's someone that's not being him blasting and blowing shit up on an underprivileged imaginary South American island. The paper fin story is glued together with explosive gameplay, centered around the biggest cliche in video games. Red barrels blow up. So if you want to strafe every straw hat wearing villain on this island, then Just Cause 4 might be the game to look out for. Best played in small doses of 2 hour game sessions. Guess blowing stuff up gets old after all. <laughs> but nevertheless, this is the perfect time to take a break and a deep dive into the ocean. For a relaxing experience in Man Eater while tearing the unknowing sea life and holiday makers apart as an apex predator. Man Eater is an epic, over the top, open world RPG where we dominate the ocean. As nature's greatest predator, we go on a human chomping odyssey that I didn't knew I wanted. I'm a huge fan of original concepts and this brave and entertaining pro environmental game is doing its part in making this world a better place. It captures the thrill of playing nature's perfect predator and I highly recommend it if you want to play something different. And talking about something different, a JRPG with real time battles and a likable cast of characters while telling a dark and gritty tale of revenge? Am I talking about Tales of Berseria? This JRPG has one of the greatest openness in gaming. Every time I boot up the game I have to watch it. But what carries this Tales game is its narrative. The characters and how the game explores the destructive nature of revenge as a motivator. I love the banter between our main crew and the real time battles. It's a bit more on the easy side but I count that as a plus, since the endless grinds of some JRPGs are one of the most annoying concepts in gaming. So if you feel the same way, give Berseria a try and you will be surprised. The next two games on this list might already be in your PlayStation library if you are a PlayStation Plus subscriber for a while. So don't sleep on one of the best action side scrollers out there. Bro Force! This is literally the game that started my YouTube career. But let's hear what my 2015 self had to say about it. That it's good. Very good indeed. It's like a good action movie. Fast paced and keeps you entertained all the way through the end. <laughs> Thanks my younger self, yeah, Brofoss is a love letter to the iconic heroes from the 80s action movies, an enjoyable over the top action game. It's a simple 5 to 10 hours indie game with intense action awesome bosses and amazing and fully destructible levels. The only issues I had with the game were that you sometimes die because of how crazy the action gets. But since I had such a blast playing it, this can easily be overlooked. But some of the framerate issues were a bit more noticeable. The PS4 was struggling at times, especially in online multiplayer. So the PS5 might be the best bet to flex this buff bad boy action game. Because the gameplay is condensed to pure addictive fun. If you like destruction, mayhem and want to relax a bit with your friends, then do yourself a favor and try it out. As I mentioned before, the best thing about it is, it was free with PlayStation Plus a while ago. Like the next game on this list. Sniper Elite 4 is the best sniping game I have ever played and 4 is the absolute high point of the Sniper Elite series. This is a perfect example of focusing your development efforts on a certain aspect and trying to make the gameplay as fun as possible. It's always a delight for my trigger finger when I line up the perfect shot. 
I hope the stealth mechanics get a bit improved in future games because sometimes I felt like I was forced to blindly rush into skirmishes. But that's not really a negative point. If you want to put your sniping skills to the test, Snipe Elite 4 hits the target. It's a well-rounded experience that delivers on multiple fronts. Ok, actually just on the Italian front, but the single player campaign puts you in really interesting situations and I enjoyed jumping into multiplayer sessions with my friends. We had a blast playing some of the multiplayer maps. Next to Battlefield 1, this was the most fun I had in a multiplayer sniper match on my PlayStation 4. And while we're at the topic of short winded fun, Soon of the Enders 2, Giant Gundams, Super Fast Combat, a mech game made by Kojima himself. Soon of the Enders 2 is an arcade mech shooter from the PS2 era. And wait, wait, give me a second. The upgraded graphics and VR support are showing that even an age old game can hold up if the core mechanics are well done. And the story is told in beautiful anime cutscenes. The game can be finished in one sitting, so around 3 to 4 hours, and it's one smooth and addictive mech game that is well worth your time, especially if you can get it on a budget price. I can't believe slashing giant robots feels this good after so many years. The remaster looks really sharp, I wish it lasted a bit longer, but hey. Before we continue, it's time for a short break and an announcement. If you want to support the channel, you can now do so with the new YouTube membership tier for just 1 euro. Become a member and get early access to videos and exclusive posts. All that for just a buck. Links in the description. And now, on with the program. And Fist of the Northern Star, Paradise Lost. I'm a simple man. Give me brutal combat and over the top violence and I'm happy. This time we are thrown in a post apocalyptic world where survival of the strongest is the name of the game. And after we got beat down and our damsel in distress got kidnapped, what oh what's that on her forehead? Eh, never mind. We train to become one of the strongest fighters in the world by relentlessly playing pointless but also humorous minigames to level up. True to the Jakuza formula, we roam the desert streets and back alley casinos for a good time and some lengthy adventures along the way. And with that said, it's time to talk about the number one spot on this list, Yakuza Kiwami 2. What can I say about the manliest soap opera that hasn't been said already? Once again, we are mobbing the floor with Kiryu Kazuma and learning some valuable manly life lessons along the way. The Yakuza games are one of the most overlooked and highly underrated games out there. And Yakuza Kiwami 2 is one of the fan favorites for a good reason. We are thrown into the nightlife of Tokyo once again and roam the streets to our heart's content. If you're a beat em up fan, do yourself a service and play this masterpiece. And that's it my dudes. This is the first part of my PS4 hidden gems. Let me know which underrated PlayStation 4 game I missed and let's talk about them, maybe in a future video. And if you enjoyed this video, kick the like button, sharing is caring and subscribe. But most importantly. Have a great day and get the kick out of gaming. Hey! Identify yourself or I will open fire! Duke fucking Nukem! Remember it for later, baby!